Hello everyone, I'm Fred Rice. I work for IBM. I've been working for IBM since 20, 2006, and I've been contributing to TensorFlow Core since 2017. But my primary job at IBM is to serve as tech lead for Codate. That's the Center for Open Source Data and AI Technologies. We are an open source lab located in downtown San Francisco, and we work on open source technologies that are foundational to AI. And we have on staff 44 full-time developers who work only on open source software. Now that's, that's a lot of developers, a lot of open source developers. Or is it? Well, if you look across IBM, at all of the IBMers who are active contributors to open source in that they have committed code to GitHub in the last 30 days, you'll find that there are almost 1,200 IBMers in that category. So our 44 developers are actually a very small slice of a very large pie. Oh, and, and those numbers, they don't include Red Hat. When we closed that acquisition earlier this year, we more than doubled our number of active contributors to open source. So you can see that IBM is really big in open source. And more and more, the bulk of our contributions in, open, in the open are going towards the foundations of AI. And when I say AI, I mean AI in production. I mean AI at scale. AI at scale is not an, an algorithm. It's not a tool. It's a process. It's a process that starts with data. And then that data turns into features. And those features train models. And those models get deployed in applications. And those applications produce more data. And the whole thing starts all over again. And at the core of this process is an ecosystem of open source software. And at the core of this ecosystem is TensorFlow, which is why I'm here on behalf of IBM Open Source to welcome you to TensorFlow World. Now, throughout this conference, you're going to see talks that speak to all of the different stages of this AI life cycle. But I think you're going to see a special emphasis on this part, moving models into production. And one of the most important aspects of moving models into production is that when your model gets deployed in a real-world application, it's going to start having effects on the real world. And it becomes important to ensure that those effects are positive and that they're fair to your clients, to your users. Now, at IBM, here's a hypothetical example that our researchers put together about a little over a year ago. They took some real medical records data, and they produced a model that predicts which patients are more likely to get sick and therefore should get additional uh, screening. And they showed that if you naively train this model, you end up with a model that has significant racial bias, but that by deploying state-of-the-art techniques to adjust the data set and the process of making the model, they could substantially reduce this model to produce a model, reduce this bias to produce a model that is much less, much more fair. You can see a Jupyter notebook with the entire scenario from end to end, including code and equations and results at the URL down here. Again, I need to emphasize this was a hypothetical example. We, we built a flawed model deliberately so we could show how to make it better. Uh, but no patients were harmed in this exercise. However, last Friday, I sat down with my morning coffee, and I opened up the Wall Street Journal, and I saw this article at the bottom of page three describing a scenario eerily similar to our hypothetical. You know, when your hypothetical starts showing up as newspapers' headlines, that's kind of scary. And I think it is incumbent upon us as an industry to move forward the process, the, the technology of trust in AI, trust and transparency in AI, which is why IBM and IBM Research have released our toolkits of state-of-the-art algorithms in this space as open source under AI Fairness 360, AI Explainability 360, and Adversarial Robustness 360. It is also why IBM is working with other members of the Linux Foundation AI Trusted uh, AI Committee to move forward open standards in this area so that we can all move quickly, more quickly to trusted AI. Now, if you'd like to hear more on this topic, my colleague Animesh Singh will be giving a talk this afternoon at 1.40 on Trusted AI for the full 40-minute session. Also, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my other co um, co-workers from Code 8 who have come down here to show you cool open source demos at the IBM booth. That's booth 201. 
Uh, also check out our websites, developer.ibm.com and codate.org. On behalf of IBM, I'd like to welcome you all to TensorFlow World. Enjoy the conference. Thank you.